to learn more about it? Well, here's the deal. Um, the way it works is you can contact me or just email us or jump on our site. Right. My name is Mark. Mark. I'll give you guys cards and I'll give you some information. And that goes that way. It's pretty dark in here. We had the artist here. And then you, you want to talk from uh, the, outside? From the or inside. Of, I know you want to do yeah, but no, you want action. Space first. will be these prints. Is this the artist? Yes, that's the female mm -hmm. going and up right way, in this the, corner. We have plans you know, for all these buildings. Clients. They're block prints. So they're all uniquely themselves. There's a lot of people in here. I do. I do. Yeah, I'd like to have part of this group. I'm just sort of the administrator. Okay. Do you want to talk to Peter? Okay. Even though okay. I'm sort of yeah. chairman of the group, but the bigger ones, I think Paul is a lot prettier for TV, but Peter yeah. deserves a, a chance, too. Peter's pretty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, that's great. Hi, my name is Mark Time, and here we are. It's uh, coming up on spring 2010, and what this is is this is the inauguration of our first project, the Eugene Storefront Art Project. This project is designed to take empty buildings like this and put art in the storefronts. It's basically a barter system where we have artists willing to show their work and we have store owners and building owners that are willing to let us use their property. We hope that this concept will spread throughout Eugene. We, this is our first installation. Our group, the Eugene Storefront Art Project, is only two months old. We have another installation down the street at 62 West Broadway at the Calfish property. This is the Lane County of Government property. And the artist that we'll be showing today is David P. Miller at this property and uh, our other artist Melissa Mankins come here come here this is Melissa Melissa's art is being shown at 62 West Broadway which is the cowfish property around the corner eventually we hope to have art in most of the empty storefronts in downtown as well as downtown neighborhoods our next target is the taco time building on the corner of Broadway and Willamette we met with the building manager yesterday and we hope to have our art installed at Broadway and Willamette very soon. We have also met with Bean Properties across the street on Broadway and Willamette and they have allowed us to install art in that property as soon as their property becomes complete, as soon as they're done with construction. David. So that people recognize this. I'm thinking about stiffening those signs up. Yeah. Now I'm going to try to beef up these signs and make it flatter, so you can just like put them up against your stuff without them looking curled. No, no. Or maybe a ESAP uh, takeover complete. Yeah, right. The city was taken yeah. over by ESAP. Okay. By my artist. Yeah. Yeah. Finally something. Because <laughs> the guy so asked me, how'd you go about doing this? We just went below the roots. We just did it. We just did it. That's amazing. This town is talking how they've been wanting to. I said, let's not go there. We don't want to talk about that.
That's why we're doing it. Well, sorry, Peter, I did. That's no, okay. I said I'm, I'm going to be political. That's good. They spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a mod functioning yeah. assessment. Oh, I know. Oh, you got this. We know it's, about it's, that. Yeah. I know. You, yeah. yeah, we could all get going on that yeah, one. That one <laughs> is deep. It's more than 100,000. 